Have you ever imagined having a personal robot servant to do every single one of your bidding? Or having super powerful robots that can do mind-bogglingly complex tasks in dangerous situations? You will be shocked to know that your imagination might not be too far away from reality. Watch the video till the end to see whether these robots will cause improvement or harm to humanity, and which of these robots are better than the other. Welcome to the Future Tech Lab, and today we will talk about everything we know about Boston Dynamics Atlas and the Tesla Bot. For some years, the robots revolution has been pounding on the doors of technology, and 2021 has been no exception. While most people see the robotics revolution as a Terminator-style robot destroying the universe as we know it, the fact is that it just means more robots performing tedious, repetitive work that we don't want to do. While this has been a significant success, for the most part, the concept of robots has hitherto been limited to business or industrial applications, and not for everyday residential usage. In a world where we have self-driving vehicles, and now what appears to be a humanoid robot with the same technical component as a car, the world of Transformers is not far away. A summary of the Tesla bot, Elon Musk, Tesla's CEO, announced a few weeks ago that they planned to bring their take on the robotics revolution to the public. It would be a series of friendly humanoid robots that would perform simple tasks like cleaning or fetching things and getting groceries and dangerous jobs that humans would not want to do. While this may seem like a stretch to someone who hasn't been following Tesla for a while now, we now know that this is not the case. Tesla is a large user of neural networks and incorporates this artificial intelligence technology into self-driving automobiles. So as Elon Musk sees it, bringing self-driving cars into humanoid form was an obvious progression for the firm. Even though Musk has been tweeting warning stories about robots taking over the world, this is shocking. First, an overview of Atlas, the Tesla bot's competition. On the other hand is Boston Dynamics. Atlas Boston Dynamics, which may well be the leading company in terms of humanoid robotics, has been experimenting and fine-tuning its range of humanoid robots for over a decade. In contrast, the company formerly belonged to SoftBank and was recently acquired by Hyundai Motor Group Atlas. The humanoid robot was first introduced in 2013 and has since been tested in different environments to fine-tune its motion agility. Recently, robots appear to have mastered Parker, these firms appear to be highly comparable in their areas of specialty and their robots, particularly the Atlas and Tesla bot. Let's look at the differences by comparing the two robots that have been in the testing stages for quite some time now. First, the Atlas stands just under 5 feet tall and weighs around 196 pounds. The robot can run at a speed of 5.6 miles per hour, while the Atlas is primarily designed for search and rescue tasks and is still not commercially available. On the other hand, the code name Optimus, the Tesla bot, stands around 5 feet 8 inches tall and weighs 125 pounds. Finally, Boston Dynamics has another dog-like robot, dubbed Spot, available on the market for about $74,500. Musk stated at his unveiling of the Tesla bot that it would deadlift 150 pounds and hoist 45 pounds. Musk joked that they wanted the robot to be giant enough for humans to flee or overpower if the worst happened. So the Atlas is built for search and rescue missions, while the Tesla bot appears to be used for grocery shopping and tightening screws around the house. The autopilot cameras will be mounted around the robot's head, and the robot will have roughly the same feature-enabled processors as the company's self-driving automobiles. In a newly published video, Boston Dynamics demonstrated the Atlas' abilities by showing the robot jumping across tiered platforms, bouncing on beams, and even performing backflips. There's little question that the world's leading humanoid robotics company has honed the robot's ability to park her via a series of trials. As previously stated, the artificial intelligence AI embedded in the technology ensures that the programmer does not need to pre-program the robot to jump at specific platforms, but instead allows the robot to learn from what it sees and understand what to do at various venues and obstacles. As previously stated, these robots were designed explicitly for search and rescue operations. Tesla's announcement at the AI Day event TeslaBot will release a prototype by next year. Still for the time being, he had a man dressed in a robotic costume demonstrate what the humanoid robot the TeslaBot is supposed to look like. 
Musk joked that the robot may not work at first, but that it would eventually be perfected to the point where it could be used to perform mundane and repetitive tasks that are tedious overall. They expect it to be friendly. The Tesla bot is expected to include around 40 electromechanical actuators, with 12 in each arm, hand, and leg, and 2 in each neck and torso. The Tesla bot is expected to travel at a speed of roughly 5 miles per hour, which is slower than the Atlas, but Musk has stated that people would outrun it if necessary. Tesla wants to get to the heart of the economy. As Musk puts it, labor is at the foundation of labor, and by automating dangerous, tedious, or repetitive tasks, there should be no shortage of labor. On the other hand, the Atlas is designed to specifically target search and rescue missions, to target the dangers that cops and other first responders would typically deal with. Will Tesla bots someday replace human labor? This seemed to be the burning question on everyone's mind. Would there be a labor shortage for unskilled workers if that's the case? Then there's the Atlas. Would it feel empathy for the people it's meant to save during its search and rescue missions? What about decision making? Could artificial intelligence be used to make life or death decisions? What happens if the robot gets assaulted as well? While we may not answer all of those concerns, the last one appears to be quite obvious. According to Asimov's rules of robotics, the robot must never injure a person. At least based on the vids, this appears to be on par with the Atlas. A video was posted in which a person attacked the robot with a hockey stick and disrupted its activities, but the Atlas did not appear to react in any way. So sorry Terminator aficionados, but we don't see a human versus robot combat happening anytime soon. Although as Musk has warned, the AI race may lead to one. While Boston Dynamics has been in the robotics game for decades, and it may appear like Tesla is only getting its feet wet with this project, we must not forget that Tesla has demonstrated time and time again that it contributes some sort of innovation and brilliance to every sector into which it has ventured. Tesla aims to apply the same self-driving technology in the robot, which should help them gain a head start on an uphill battle in the area of humanoid robots, according to the press conference where the idea of the Tesla bot was unveiled. It's also fascinating to consider how the chip scarcity will influence these robots. We already know how the chip shortage is hurting numerous electromechanical components worldwide, and Tesla has shown interest in developing their processors. Elon Musk has previously expressed his concerns about artificial intelligence humanoid robots, particularly concerning the controversial humanoid robot produced by Hanson Robotics, a Hong Kong-based business in 2017. It'll be fascinating to see what he thinks about going into the same field now. On the other hand, Tesla appears to perform a decent job of meeting deadlines compared to other big companies in the market. According to Musk, the prototype will be ready in a year and is unlikely to operate at first. They will also need at least a couple of years to improve the Tesla bot and introduce it to the commercial market. On the other hand, Atlas is not intended for home usage and has already been tested for several years. According to the most current footage, they appear to have an advantage over Tesla in terms of a timetable. There we have it, which brings us to the end of today's video. So which bot do you think is better? Please leave your answers in the comments section below. Also, do not forget to subscribe to our channel Tesla News Hangout, where we talk about Tesla and electric vehicles. While you're at it, hit the bell so you never miss any of our videos, as more exciting ones like this are on the way. In the next one, I'll see you.